I'm Sonam Gyal Sen, the teacher of Charlie Lord Secondary School. I'm serving in this school for the last seven years, and I have been an ASPNET coordinator from 2013 onwards. I've been implementing global citizenship education in right from 2014 onwards. I teach science for students in grade 7, and today's topic is sources of energy. Through the class, students will learn about renewable and non-renewable energy, classify the energy source to renewable and non-renewable, understand current situation of the world in the form of distribution of energy, and will make their own pledge to contribute in saving energy. From 45 minutes of class, first 15 minutes is for learning about energy and next 10 minutes for learning about sustainable development goal 7, affordable and clean energy. In the following 10 minutes, students will work in group to discuss their roles in achieving SDG 7. After that, they will share their pledges with the class. Learning about the energy from textbook, I introduced SDG 7 with the statistics from UN and other international sources. I explain what the number means to the people and countries in their everyday life. 20% people of the world population do not have access to electricity. They don't have electricity at all. Global electricity use is rising rapidly. In the nutshell, without a stable electricity supply, countries will not be able to power their economics. I try to let our students connect to the outside world, linking the gain knowledge to the real life. Moreover, I encourage them to think about their roles as members of this global community and what contribution they can make. Now you will carry out one activity in your group. Now related to SDG goals and related to the topic sources of energy, we will go with one group activity. That is, how can you contribute in saving energy or sustainable use of energy? Students talk about their thoughts and ideas in a small group first and share what they have discussed with the whole class. How can I do to save energy? Here are a few ideas to get you started. Change your travel behavior. Think of public transportation. If possible, walk or ride your bicycle instead of traveling in the vehicle. Reduce your house heat by IC. Keep the windows closed while heating dress warmly. Choose products that come with that came with light weight packaging. Turn off lights, use energy saving light bulbs. This suggests what they can do and what should be done in their own life, ranging from very small things to quite ambitious ones. I hope that while doing this, they could see themselves as part of the world and realize the possible impact of their action to the whole community. Alternative energy light by gas for cooking. During daytime, drain of sunlight rather than using light. Take cold shower during daytime rather than using water heater. So almost all the topic given in our goodness curriculum is broadly related and interlinked to GCED. For instance, topic like flora and fauna, biodiversity, health and diseases, and so on. We can always insert GCD and impart to our students in the form of example, current situations in the world, students to be in the 
and ask the student to be in, uh, in the situation of another person currently facing the difficulties through which I can relate interconnectedness and interdependence which is a GCD on. For the Buddhist classroom, now we have shifted from the traditional teaching, we have shifted into a Kagan strategy and active learning methods where students were involved themselves based on student group activities, project by themselves and uh, even doing a research programs, a small research program in their own level. GCR has been important since it is talking about uh, not only about the nation or about the people, it is talking about individual responsibilities. We are talking as a whole earth, as a whole globe as one. And as one, one globe, one people, and each one, each and everyone's responsibility, I think so. And as we